Welcome to the first episode of my new series on writing, entitled How to Write Your Novel Step by Step. Now, I hate introductions, and I want to get right to it, so I'll be as brief as I possibly can. I'm Melanie Ann Phillips, creator of the Story Weaver Story Development System, and also the co-creator of the Dramatica Theory of Story Structure some 30 years ago. And since that time, hundreds of thousands of people worldwide have used the theory to improve their stories, including Academy Award winners, New York Times bestsellers, and even one Pulitzer Prize winner, believe it or not. It's true. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much who I am. I've been teaching creative writing and story structure for the last 30 years. I have a number of series of, of videos on this and written hundreds of articles. There'll be links down below. End of introduction. Let's get on with it, okay? First step in writing any long-form fiction, doesn't matter what it is, screenplay, stage play, novel. Get out of your head! Get it out of your head! Put it on paper! You see, when you sit down to write, it may be because you had an immediate inspiration that gave you a vision, or you woke up with a dream or something, and you, I gotta write that, that's just amazing. Or, more often than not, you spent years Okay, gathering information. Suddenly you have a little idea for a character that might be great in this novel concept you're working with, or a plot twist that would be really terrific, or some sort of um, genre that you've wanted to work in, or a political statement, or an agenda, maybe some propaganda that you'd like to create. All of this finally hits a point where the tinder is sparked, and your writerly tail gets all bushy, and you sit down and say, I'm going to write this right now, okay? When that happens, then you need this first step. And the first step is, get it out of your head. Put it on paper. Put it in a document. Record it on your phone. Take all of these ideas you have that you're trying to juggle so you won't forget them, and write them down so they won't be forgotten, okay? So when you do that, you clear your mind. Suddenly, instead of not being able to actually write because you're trying not to forget this stuff and how do these pieces fit, when you put it out on a document and you can look at it in front of you, you can begin to see like puzzle pieces when you're putting together a picture. This piece is connected to that. There's a few in-betweens. There's some other stuff I have to find that's going to fit in here. Helps you with that totally clears your mind so that there's room for you to make those connections and room for you to invent new stuff in-betweens and even whole new material that you never thought of before and include it in your story. Second kind of thing you have to do. In your life you probably have screaming kids or a job with a screaming boss or somebody screaming someplace. There's pressure upon you at all times and so all those issues are clogging up the works. They're gumming it up creatively. Sticky stuff that traps your muse. Okay. So make a second document. A personal journal if you want. Keep it from day to day. And if it's something really sensitive after you've written down in it, burn it, delete it, get rid of it. But at least you've expressed yourself because unexpressed passion is going to get in the way of writing your novel. All right. So first thing, Get all the ideas for your novel down on paper. And then the second thing is take all that stuff that's going on in your life other than the novel and get it off your chest. Get it out of your head. Get out of my head. All right. Now, this is not just important for when you're writing for the first time, sitting down to begin a project, but you should do this again and update it every time you sit down for a writing session. So, any new ideas you've had since last you wrote, well, you should take those and not just keep them here and write and try to fit them in, but put them into that document of notes, creative notes for this particular project. And any new problems you've had at home, an argument, or even a good thing that you just can't let go because it's just so wonderful, okay, put that also into another document so you can let it go, good or bad, at least for a moment and sit down and be productive and write. Okay, so that's your tip for today. Get out of my head! And that's in fact the first step in the Storyweaver uh, software. There will be links to it down below. Uh, and a lot of other good things. Like I said, scores of hours of other videos I've done, hundreds of articles that I've written over the last 30 years as a teacher of creative writing and story structure. And now I'm retired at 70, okay? And so um, I thought I'd share all this stuff and hopefully it's useful for you guys. Okay, so we'll see you next time in the second step in how to write my novel step by step. And until then, may the muse be with you.